Blessed love and blessings way up to we back with another video. Floyd Money Mayweather TBE has decided to become a boxing trainer in memory and honor of Uncle Roger. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Real Life Boxing! Blessed love and blessed day. Oh, boxing world. Boxing nation, fighting world, fighting nation. It's Coach Fighting. This is Real Life Boxing. As I said, Floyd Mayweather Money Mayweather has decided to become a boxing trainer in honor and in memory of his late great uncle roger mayweather hey before we get into it i'm gonna ask you guys to smash on the like button hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can be notified when all content is being uploaded on the channel of real life boxing let's get into it floyd mayweather jr has recently gone through a string of depressing um events with the death of his children's mother um the death of his late great trainer uncle roger mayweather and now the um the the criminal you know actions of his daughter money yaya but this video is not about that this video more importantly is about where floyd mayweather jr has found refuge after all of this stuff has taken place now floyd hasn't really been in the public eye he, he hasn't really said much you know what i'm saying but recently he's put out a string of instagram posts which one started with um him in the gym with his son teaching his son some boxing and then the next one him hitting the bag and then the next one him with his nephew um holding the pads with his nephew now floyd has come out and said I'm going to read you guys what Floyd Mayweather Jr. said. He says, this is my first day working with my 14-year-old nephew who has absolutely no boxing experience at all. And this is my second time doing mitt work. The first time was with my oldest son, which you may have seen I recently posted. As many of you know, I have incredible trainers, which included my dad and uncle. Due to the recent passing of my uncle Roger, I felt inspired to help those around me the same way they have been there for me throughout my boxing career. In a time where we must distance ourselves from others, it has allowed me to reflect on how I want to make a difference in people's lives and help them achieve their goals. A true trainer wants to be the best out of uh, out of their fighter. A true trainer wants wants the best out of their fighter and pushes them to the best of their abilities. I am new to helping people train as I've always been on the other side of the mitts. A fighter could be impressive at mitt work, but it doesn't make him a great fighter. A trainer could be impressive on the mitts, but it doesn't make him a great trainer. It has become a goal of mine to help others reach the best versions of themselves and walk with it in confidence. I want to leave an impression on those around me and allow them to see their potential. This quarantine period has allowed me to see the importance of unity and helping others grow. I want to do my part on this earth and allow people to see the potential in themselves so that they can share it with the world. I am new at training and so far I've been working with people with no boxing experience. Therefore, we are growing together. But I promise you, I will be one of the best trainers in the world. Inspire and be inspired. Um, Floyd Money Mayweather. And, you know, like I said, right off of the, the death and the passing of Uncle Roger, um... I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I'm a huge fan of Roger Mayweather, the fighter, huge fan of Roger Mayweather, the trainer. Um, if you guys go on my on my IG, I post daily. Um, Roger, the greatest trainer in the modern era, greatest trainer of the modern era. Um, absolutely the GOAT. And I like this um, by Floyd Mayweather Jr. Honestly, I was sitting down thinking the other day and I was like, damn. Roger's gone now. Floyd Sr., um, he don't look like he got too much more left in the tank. So who's going to carry on the the Mayweather um, training legacy? Jeff, he's also sickly. I think with Floyd, with with Floyd being a fighter and have and you know having elevated to the top fighter in the world, I think a lot of the essence in family and how they grew up got lost in that. And not saying that it's a bad thing. It just is what it is. It's kind of, it's, it's normal. You know what I'm saying? But I really like the fact that Floyd has come back to, um, ha has come back 
to where he started. And this and in and, and, and really it shows you it, it shows you the type of person that Floyd is really because again with Floyd rising to being the top fighter in the world, being the top money maker in the world, I think that we even as fans we've lost um we get blinded by all this flash and by seeing Floyd out of the ring and, and, and the jewelry and the money and the cars, we get blinded by that stuff and we forget what actually brought Floyd to this point, what actually got him here. And it is that he's a great fighter. And, um, you know, I listen to Showbiz the Adult a lot and I hear Showbiz say this a lot about fighters is, is, is that... You know, they're not who we think they are. Well, not me because I know, but they're not the person that you think they are. You know what I'm saying? These dudes are fighters. And no matter how much money you see Floyd throw out or how much gold he got around his neck or his silk sheets or his cars, no matter how much you see that, no matter how much you see that, you got to remember this dude is a fighter. Um, it, uh, it was his fighting. It was his skills. It was his aggression. His 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 his, his, his savagery as a young, um, pretty boy Floyd that got him to where he is now to be able to be on top of the boxing world as far as money and TB and all that stuff. But with all the glitter and the gold, you know what I'm saying? It 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 comes a lot of backlash. Even myself, even me, even I have been um, guilty. Well, not guilty because I, I, I like Floyd the fighter more than I like the, the the person that we see on Instagram and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I can't say the man because I don't really know him personally. I know him more as a boxer than I know about. And what I see him as a boxer, I like more than, you know, what I see. But like I said, even I am guilty of um of looking at him, you know, and just judging him off of what we see on Instagram and forgetting, you know, um, what's bottom there but I say all of this um, I say all of that to say this Floyd has found himself in the gym hitting the bag he mentions quarantine time and not just the quarantine time he's gone through a string of um, tragic events in the past few in the past few weeks with a few deaths in his family and so forth so where does he find himself back in the boxing gym not only just hitting the bag, he's got the pads on. He tells his son and his nephew, come with me. You know what I'm saying? Let's go get this work. And um, I think that Floyd has realized, Floyd Floyd Jr. has realized, yeah, it's up to me to keep this, to keep this Mayweather legacy going. As far as training, you know what I'm saying? I can carry on the legacy of Uncle Roger. Whether or not another fighter is going to come and carry on my legacy as a fighter, that's a whole nother thing. Those are huge um, shoes to fill. But at least I can take what I have and follow in the, foot, in the footsteps of my uncle, Uncle Roger, and help out my little ones, help out my son, my nephew, Uncle Roger's son. You understand what I'm saying? So um, I like it. I, I really, I really, I really like it with Floyd. I did a video um, one of the last few videos that I did um, speaking about how um, Floyd would be as a trainer. Now, we really don't know um, how good of a trainer Floyd would be, but you got to you, you, you gotta be willing to bet that he'll, he'll probably be a pretty good trainer. You know what I'm saying? Especially if he gets a good student who... Who his chem who they have great chemistry, just like him and Uncle Roger. You know what I'm saying? Because that's it's 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 <clears throat> it's more than just what it looks like in the eye. There's a tremendous amount of chemistry there. There's a tremendous amount of um um they're just locked in tremendously on the same page. Um chemistry is out the window. So, you know, with Floyd being a trainer, can can Floyd be a great trainer? I believe that Floyd can be a great trainer. Um, if he dedicates himself to training, which it looks like he is going to dedicate himself to training. And like I said, um, as long as he gets the right students, um, the right fighters and their chemistry matches and everything matches, um, I'm sure that Floyd Mayweather Jr. can be a great trainer. But again, um, it remains to be seen. Um, 
I might have went off on a little rant and I might not have said everything that I wanted to say because I'm going off the top of my head. But I will be back on um, on more videos on this subject. Um, I got another video coming. Who came up with the with the patterns that Uncle Roger and Floyd did on the mitts? Um, I got another video coming. Floyd Mayweather Jr. keeps the Mayweather legacy um, going training not fighting because the Mayweather legacy as far as fighting it, it's going to come to a halt right now because Floyd is retired and there's no <clears throat> there's no prospect you know what I mean coming up like when like you had Floyd Sr. then Roger was fighting shortly after and then Floyd Jr. was fighting when Roger was still fighting so you have no Mayweather um, in rotation right now so that has to um, that has to be seen but um, you guys tell me what y'all think about it in the comment section. Again, I love it. I love it. I love it. You guys tell me what y'all think about it in the comment section. Until then, keep fighting your fight and protect yourself at all times, man. Peace and one love. So if you like this video and you would like to see more great content like this on the channel, go to the PayPal link or the Cash App link in the description and show your appreciation by donating any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. This is Real Life Boxing.